Okay, hi everyone. My name is Nur Akila and I am from F123. Today, we want to discuss about partial chapter 4 chemical bonding. So, I need So, this is question 8. So, this is the this is the question of past year 2013 and 2014 PSVM SK0164 KM2K study. So, A. A. The question is, ammonia and H3 is a colorless gas with a characteristic pungent smell. So, the question want want Using Lewis dot symbols show the formation of ammonia from the respective elements. So we need to draw the Lewis dot symbols for this question. So this is this is about one mark. Next, predict the hybridization of the central atom of ammonia, which is N, and draw a diagram of the molecules showing the overlapping of the orbitals so we need to draw about the central atom to show the overlapping so this is about 3 mark and question 3 describe the polarity of the ammonia molecule and this is about 5 marks so we need to explain more about this ammonia molecule and question 8b Use the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory to explain the difference in the bond angles between the following pairs of compound or ion. So, first question CO2 and CO3 2 negative, and next PCl3 and H2O. So, we need to explain about the bond angle. So, eight, question 8, A1, using the start symbols, so first, we need to calculate the valence electron. For this question, the valence electron of N is 5, and the valence electron of H is 1. So, N have 1 atom times by 5, and H have 3 atom of H times of 1. So, uh, plus you will get 8. 8 minus by 6. 6 is get from this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the balance is 2 and this 2 is long pair. 1 and 2. So, question 2. Predict the hybridization. So, we need to draw the diagram, diagram 2. So, first, calculate the total valence electron and we will get 8 like before. And draw the Lewis structure for more detail. And you will know from this structure that this is the class of molecule of NH3 is AB3E because A. N is 1, B3, H is 3, and E. E is long pair, and E, and here is 1 long pair. So, E1. And molecular shape for NH3 is trigonal pyramid. It is because it has bone angel uh, under below than 109. 0.5 degree. So this is the VSHPR drawing. So the bone angle is at here. So from here we can see that bonding pair is 3, 1, 2, 3, and long pair is 1, 1, 2, 1 long pair. So the total number of electron pair is Next, uh, draw the orbital diagrams for valence electron in N 
which is the central atom. So uh, eigen valence of n is 5. So we draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the nitrogen atom has 3 unpaired electrons in 2p orbitals. 1, 2, 3. So the pair electron in 2s orbital will not promoted to 2p orbital. So we are, we don't have to take this one to here. Just let it be like this. However, 2s and 2p orbitals hybrid hybridize to form for equivalent hybrid sp3 orbitals. So we're gonna get like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is sp3 for n which is central atom so overlapping of orbitals of n atom with s orbital of hydrogen atoms will form sigma bonds here will form sigma bond three of the four hybridized orbitals form covalent and h bond which is n strong state is 1s because the electron valence of s is 1 so the drawing is like this so uh, this is for sp3 1 this like this like this like this and this is n and h h h 1s 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 One, two electron, one, two electron, one, two electron, one, two electron. So it is an only three edge and N molecule here. So that's it. So three describe the polarity of the ammonia molecule. So we need to describe why it is what it is polarity polar or non-polar so for nh3 nh3 is polar molecule because looking at the Lewis dot symbol here we can see the central atom which is n is bonded to three atom of h leaving a lone pair of electrons around the n atom so one here lone pair this tells that the molecule has sp3 hybridization and uh, this molecule is trigonal planar in shape tetrahedral because in shape we're gonna get like this so this is tetrahedral this shape inherently asymmetrical and will therefore be polar additionally since N is more electronegative than H, the electron will have a tendency to hang around the N atom. So N H is partially positive and N is partially negative. So the tendency is like that. From partially positive to partially negative, partially positive to partially negative, and partially positive to partially negative. So the So uh, the dipole moment will going upward. During dipole moment for each bond, we can see that the vectors combine to three vector pointing towards a long pair. This long pair. Oh, I forget about this. This dipole moments for the molecule indicates that NH is polar molecule. NH3 is excuse me. NH3 is a polar molecule with the negative side being N and the positive N being the H atom. So positive, positive, positive and negative. The nitrogen is partially negative whereas H is are partially positive. I'm wrong again here, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay next. So the mu is equal to zero which is polar molecule. 
something yes valence shall air turn very patient theory to explain the difference in the bond angle between the following pairs of compound or, compound or ion so this is the Lewis structure for CO2 and this is the Lewis structure for CO3 to negative so uh, like always we have to recognize bond pair and lone pair and calculate the electrons like this and like this so you know this is linear and the molecular shape is also linear so the bond angle is 180 here and for CO3 to negative it have power of it have ion here to negative so when calculate the electrons we have the plus of two and we're gonna get the answer the answer like this and this is trigonal planar and molecular shape also trigonal planar and the bond is 120 degree so electron pressure is minimized when the three oxygen three oxygen of atoms are located at the corners of an equilateral triangle so the so the co3 to negative ion therefore has a trigonal planar shape just like pf3 with a 120 degree point angle so same like fb same like like next question for P pcr3 and h2o we just calculate the electrons and then we can use the bonding pair and long pair so here is three bonding pair and one long pair and h2o have two bonding pair and two long pair so the shape is tetrahedral and bent and this tetrahedral but trigonal but pyramidal which is under below than 109 109 and 109.5 degree same like this 109.5 degree because this is tetrahedral and this is tetrahedral so we're gonna get answer like this so I have things upon angle which is below than 109.5 below than 109.5 so that's all for me. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like.